Matt3756. What's up, you goober? Matt3756 here, and do I have an amazing video for you today. You are not gonna believe what happened. So, a little bit about this video. This was back when I had my meet and greet in Riverside, California during VidCon in June. And we were at Round Table Pizza. So they had inside an NEN prize locker, and what those are are modified key masters by National Entertainment Network, AKA Sugarloaf. So what they did was they've made a key master, but they've set it on 100% skill. So it's possible to win this particular key master every single time because it's 100% skill based. So what they did was is they added these little notches in the plexiglass of each individual row on each individual prize and you have to get the key, the round top part of the key, within that little notch in order for the entire key to go through and for you to win the prize. Also, this key master does not have a joystick and you can't fumble around on the bottom row like normal key master. There are three buttons on this key master. One goes right, one goes up, and one goes forward. So, and you can't, it's all one press. There's no double taps or no, none of that crap, man. They are not fooling around with this key master, okay? So you tap right, it starts going right. You tap up, it immediately goes up. You tap forward to, for the prize that you want, it immediately goes forward. And you have to do this all in one shot, that's it. So that's why it's a little extra tricky, but I think I figured it out. Check this out, you are not gonna believe this. Matt three seven five six playing the prize locker. Uh, okay, so that's why it's so hard. Yeah, you have to get it in the in yeah. the, the lift. Okay, it's hard. I see. I'm gonna record. Let's go, boys. Matt three five six. So good. Three, three eight five nine two four. I like that. Oh, I missed it. See, I'm not on the lift. That went up. I saw it. No, no this no. one doesn't go up. No, it's it's, all it's just skill. Yeah. I just got it a few weeks ago, brand new. It was at least, I mean, I'm not sure if they... Oh, that was there, dude. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that you would have got A little gone. higher, I would have had it, man. It's like oh, the god. higher it gets, the more, the closer, the bigger what, the what would you, you What would you do if you get it? I'd crap a brick. <laughs> yeah, I'm too far to the right. I like this version of Keymaster better. Why didn't they make it like this in the first place? Ooh, maybe. Oh. Oh. It doesn't rig you, it's just it's yeah, hard. That has a oh! oh! No way! Woo! You've got to be kidding me! No High five! Yeah. Damn! Yes! Yes, son! Alright! Matt, hold the camera! Wow. Matt, can you play with me? Can you play with me? This is where you should go for it. Film? Yeah, I got it! it. Yo, I got it. Wow. You expect it to see it on my YouTube tomorrow. Everyone's an advert. You should do a Camry profit on this. Dude, try for the BBA. Right? Try for the BBA. Try the top row. Try the top row. I can't believe you just got that. I like my breast locker. Oh! So a fan of mine that was still there gave me a couple bucks because he wanted me to try for him to win 
the BB-8. And here's what happened. Too low. Oh, too low. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's so perfect. I'm a too low dork. Don't go too low. Mike, I'm going to go higher. I'm used to it. Okay. Oh. Oh. So what ended up happening was uh, NEN was there, a couple guys from NEN uh, was there at the meet and greet all day and uh, they just happened to leave right before this happened. But thankfully we were able to get a hold of them. They came back, unlocked the machine and gave the kid his prize. So I want to thank NEN. You guys have hearts of gold. You guys were awesome um, for coming all the way back and doing that for us. So thank you and I'd like to thank again everyone at Gamer Green for making this awesome meet and greet possible. So when I went for prizes that were on the middle and top row, I drew a line, a visual line in my head from where the notch was on that row all the way down to the bottom row. And that's where I lined it up my uh, left to right. Going up was a matter of just hitting the up button as soon as the key was in the general area of where that notch was on that row. I hope this, this makes sense. I know, I'm trying to explain this as easy as possible. And then to go forward was just a matter of lining it up when it was not too high or too low for the key to hit the top or the bottom. So let me know in the comments, guys, have you seen one of these before and have you ever wanted one of these before? This is very, very interesting. This could be a game changer in the world of arcade games. We could start seeing a lot of arcade games go this way to where they can be 100% skill, but they are ridiculously difficult. Except for an NEN prize locker. I don't know if I just got lucky. Let me know what you guys think. If I got really, really, really freaking lucky or if with some practice this game you know, is easier than the average skill game. I, I know it's easier than the cut the rope game, which uh, I've played in videos before. It's a redemption game. That game is insanely difficult, but it's 100% skill. The entire day of my meet and greet, there was not one single winner, and that game was getting played a lot from what I heard, so maybe it, it averaged out, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because not only do claw machine and arcade game videos, I do videos like mini golf, carnival games, all this kind of fun, insane stuff. Multiple new videos every week. And smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. And as I always say, thanks for watching. Subscribe and click that bell icon to become a fellow goober. And check out some of my other videos right here.